And here is the skipper, beaming. Jordan, you had to wait so long, but now you've actually been crowned champions and got your hands on the silverware. Has it really brought it home? Yeah, of course, you know. We've been waiting a long time, like I said before the game. Um, but yeah, the build up to it, walking up there was, was amazing, you know. And like I said, the, the lads deserved the moment tonight. Um, and thankfully, the families are up there watching, um, which was a big thing for us as a team. Um, but yeah, it's been an amazing season, and to crown it off like that was, was really special. Was there a moment in the season that you think was pivotal to you becoming champions? Not really. I think the start was really important, of course. But from then, we just grew and grew as the season went on. Got stronger, um, more confident, and just, yeah, ruthless, really. You know, we found a way to win on so many occasions, and that's just down to mentality. Um, and the lads have been, like I said, the lads have been brilliant all season, and they deserve what they get now. The manager's called you mentality monsters. You just mentioned mentality. How big is the mentality in this squad after what happened last season? And going so close, record points totals, only losing one game, to actually come back and do it again. Yeah, it, make, it makes it even more special. You know, after last season, getting 97 points and not winning it was hard to take. But then we reacted a few weeks later, won the Champions League. And then the start of the Premier League season, we knew we had unfinished business. And, um, and like I said, it's been an amazing season. Um, and so thankful that I'm part of this club and part of this team that has managed to get the Premier League after 30 years. You joined this club when I was a player. We were at a lot of ever times going through those years. Did you ever believe or did you dream that one day you could win Premier League, Champions League, World Champions? I always dreamed, you know, Premier League's been a dream of mine since I was a kid. And that's one of the reasons you come to Liverpool, you want to win trophies, the expectation's so high. But when you come as a young player, it, is, it was so difficult. Um, but it's been a process, it's been a journey. It just hasn't happened overnight, you know, I'd say over the past five years since the gaffer come in. It's been a process, a journey, and every single player has been a part of that journey. Um, and to finish it off this season like this has been really special. Um, so we're going to enjoy the night, but after, after this, um, next season is going to be a big challenge for us. But I thought tonight we showed the mentality again to come and, and perform like we did and get the result we did. Jordan, how much is it a case? This squad is packed full of stars. But it's very much a team mentality. It comes across in virtually every interview given by the manager, by yourself. It's all about all of you, all the time. Yeah, because that's the most important thing, is the team. Of course, you're going to have individuals that perform, but the, ultimately, the most important thing is the team. And we're always there together for each other. It's a really close group, as you can see. Um, that's off the field and on the field. That makes a massive difference. So, yeah, that's another thing the Gaff has brought since he's come in, is that togetherness really in the dressing room, and that has made a, a really big difference um, on the pitch. You're one of the most down-to-earth guys in football. How have you felt about the plaudits that have come your way this season? Saying how you are absolutely the right, the successor, the heir to Steven Gerrard's crown, and how you've taken your game to the very next level. <laughs> well, it's obviously nice to hear, you know, good things, but at the same time, it's... It's not really about me, it's about the team, as we've just been speaking about. You know, I wouldn't be where I am today without the players I've played with since I've come through at Liverpool, the managers that I've had, the coaches that I've worked with, and obviously the team This um, these last few years has been immense and helped me massively, so, yeah, it's, I've got to give credit to, to, and, and lucky enough to be a part of this football club, lucky enough to work with some amazing people that have helped me, but... I've always tried to give everything I've got. I've always tried to improve every single season, and that won't stop until I finish. He won't say it, Jeff, but I, he, you won't get it out of him, but you'll get it out of me. He's had a monumental season, a legendary figure now in Liverpool's history, what you've lifted and what you've done. And I go back to different moments of different players this season. How big a moment was it for you, personally, that winning goal against Tottenham, or the goal against Tottenham, and your celebration to the crowd? Another game when you show that mentality, when you're 1-0 down at half-time, and you come back second half. Yeah, that was a big moment, you know, in the season, of course, because I can remember the first goal we conceded. I think it was my fault on the halfway line. Yeah, it was. Um, it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I knew you wouldn't forget. So, no, but yeah, I can remember that. And then, obviously, to get the goal um, sort of made up for it, so that was nice.